In the question, we are given a square and the cosine value of x, and we are asked for the cotangent value of y. To solve this question, we need some preliminary information. Let's look at that first. One of these is the special 3-4-5 triangle, and the other is that in an isosceles right triangle, the hypotenuse is root 2 times the length of the legs that meet at the right angle. So if this side is 1, the legs that meet at the right angle are 1 over root 2. Now let's solve our question using this information. First, let's start with the value 8 over 10 here. I simplify 8 over 10 and write it as 4 over 5. Since no length is given in the question, I want to write the cosine value here. But how am I going to do this? Cosine means the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. So I can write 4 for the adjacent side here and 5 for the hypotenuse. Now using the 3, 4, 5 rule, I write 3 for the side opposite x. Since the sides of a square are equal, this side is 4 and this side is also 4. Therefore, the side here is 1. Now to find the value of cotangent y, I want to form a right triangle here. So from this point, I draw a perpendicular down to here. After drawing this perpendicular, something catches my attention. Here, a right isosceles triangle has formed. And if this angle is 90 degrees, then the other angles here must also be 45 degrees. So, this angle here is 45 degrees. And since I drew a perpendicular, the angle here will also be 45 degrees. In other words, there is a right isosceles triangle here. Now, I remember the information from the beginning of the video. That is, in a right isosceles triangle, the hypotenuse is root 2 times the length of the legs that intersect at a right angle. So, I can write 1 over root 2 for the sides here. Now, to find cotangent y, all I need to do is find the length of this side. So, I'll apply the Pythagorean theorem to this right triangle here. So, if I call this side here a, let's now write out our Pythagorean theorem. The square of a plus the square of 1 over root 2 should be equal to the square of 5. The square of 1 over root 2 will be 1 half, and the square of 5 is 25. I move the 1 half to the other side of the equation as a subtraction. Then, I make the denominators equal. After that, I perform the subtraction. If a squared equals 49 over 2, then a will be equal to the square root of that. 49 comes out of the square root as 7, and I'll leave it inside the root as well. Now that I've found a as 7 over root 2, let me substitute it here. I'm very close to finding cotangent y. All I have to do is find the ratio of the adjacent side of y to its opposite side, because that's what cotangent means. My adjacent side is 7 over root 2, and my opposite side is 1 over root 2. I write the numerator as it is, flip the denominator, and multiply. The square roots of 2 cancel each other out, and thus I find the value of cotangent y to be 7.